Wow. So we finally had a really good week for crypto in 2022, and it's been a while, and I figured it's now time to start giving some more analysis and price predictions right here on the channel. And to start off this week, I'm talking about Bitcoin, of course. I'm also bringing up NFTs, Ape Coins, and we got something that's trending this week, which is Pancake Swap. Let's get it going. And we are live. You're here. I'm here. John Doe at Real John Doe for my Twitter at J Doe for Instagram. And I'm giving you weekly analysis once again, talking about price, prediction, news, all that good stuff because of all the continued support you guys are leaving on the channel. So let's keep that going. Hit that like button. That's all I want. And let's see right now what I got for you. First things first, we're having a look here at the channel. 27K subscribers continuing to grow. If you're not one of those people, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for much more of our crypto content. We're constantly putting stuff out. Myself and my boy Tom, we're the ones here on the channel. As you can see right here, that's our weekly show and the crypto world explained. Now we're adding analysis. For more of my content, make sure you're following my Twitter as well, at Real John Doe. Just hit that follow button. Now, first, let's take a look at Bitcoin. So here just reported on Cointelegraph that Bitcoin is on track to see its highest weekly close of 2022. And that is what happened right now at the time of filming. And this is very bullish because since that first weekly close, Bitcoin has been trending downwards. Now we're for, uh, now this is the first time now that we're testing that resistance level towards the yearly open. And if we can't hold up, then we're seeing 50K coming up this next week for Bitcoin. And the current sentiment right now for Bitcoin on currency.com shows 67% buyers, 33% sellers. You can see right here on this daily chart, price did uh, press past resistance now, and it is trending upwards at about $47,000. And here on the weekly, as you can see, the opening right here, testing the beginning of 2022 uh, weekly resistance level. So we could see a little rejection here, but if that holds and we make a higher low, then we will see a push towards $50,000 right around the corner. Now as for Bitcoin's chart, this is the weekly chart I have here pulled up. So I'm zooming out a bit so we can look all the way back towards 2020. And as you can see, Bitcoin double bottom just now. We also even have a double top, as you can say. So we're going to see now as price heads up to test this uh, resistance, if we can't keep, keep pushing on the weekly charts, then we will see price head up to test the all-time high range at about $64,000. That will be that major uh, zone and that it will be the third time testing that price range. We do see a breakout there then. We're seeing Bitcoin make new all-time highs and we're looking at eighty dollars to $100,000 later on this year for Bitcoin. Now towards the downside, if we do get a rejection way before that, let's see around 55000 That's where we would look for that rejection to come. When we push towards the lows. That will be the third test towards the lows. We could look for that to break, giving Bitcoin uh, a new low down towards a previous all-time high at about $20,000 later on this year. But we also even have the scenario we can see both things happen actually where we do test the highs and same thing, we test the lows again. So then we get three times at highs and three times at the lows. But I will keep track of the momentum to make sure you guys are staying up to date with what's happening with the price action. I'm zoomed in here to the daily chart for Bitcoin. So look at this. We did trend sideways here for quite a bit of time and we finally made it out of that range testing this 200 day moving average resistance right now that is right at around forty eight thousand dollars now i can look for a rejection there like i just said and then a push towards 50 and that would be a nice big actually if you look here zoomed out that's a nice cup and handle formation for a breakout but if we do get a rejection at that 200 day moving average it will be the first time we're testing it actually now. So if we do get a major rejection at that level, then we can see Bitcoin head back down to test these lows of this range towards $37,000 and see how price holds off there. But if, that, if this level does not hold down here towards um, $35,000 all the way down to about $30,000, then we most likely will see Bitcoin head down in that $20,000 range, possibly even test a previous all-time high level. But for this next week, the main goals are these price levels here at 48,000 and then we have 50,000 then 55,000 now to the downside for bitcoin for this next week i'm looking at this range right here towards $44,000 and then we have down towards 42,000 
and then 37,000 for Bitcoin. I'll keep you updated on that. Let's move on. Now talking NFTs. So right now, NFTs in the beginning of the year, NFTs were booming in terms of volume. It was reaching highs constantly. Now that has slowed down and people are saying are NFTs in a bubble. And is this similar to the 2018 ICO bust? I don't think so. I think the NFT bubble is a little bit different than ICOs and NFTs. The solid ones are staying around. As you can see right here, if we look at the highest price NFTs, the Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Board Ape Yacht Club, those are taking over right now, especially with the release of the Ape Coin. And as you can see, like the volume, the um, floor price, they keep rising. Market cap, it keeps rising. But the volume is does slow down a bit seasonally. I noticed for uh, NFTs, like you'll get like for this year, we had January. It peaked. Now it's slowing down. We will get a peak again later on in the year. And that looks like it continues to happen as more and more people come on board. If we look at this ape coin kind of lines up good with this ape coin launch, ape coin launched. It brought in a lot of volume and a lot of traction to NFTs. So we can't expect things to start slowing down a bit, but it's up 13% today, $15. Be cautious of this because you can't expect this to sell off quite a bit, possibly even down towards $5 for ApeCoin. 80% drop, that seems likely. And then that would be where you look for an entry price. But you know, this could all take off since now people can actually own a piece of the Board Ape Yacht Club uh, membership or community. And the ApeCoin seems like your way to get started. And ApeCoin, that big airdrop did make a lot of people even richer. So everyone who did own a Bored Ape NFT, they got airdrop some of these um, ApeCoins, which we talked about actually on the Crypto Culture Show. So like I said, if you're following the channel, we have all of that just here. We talk about what's trending in the past week for crypto in all of our episodes. So make sure you're staying tuned to those. And with the launch of ApeCoin, it's become the most traded token among Ethereum whales. That's really big. And I am expecting we will see more of these coin NFT coin airdrops to come. So make sure if you are part of the NFTs, find one with a good community and you should see good things come from it. Now, let's move on to the last thing here. Uh, this is kind of like a nice random pick that I like to find, which is pancake swap. Uh, for those of you who don't know pancake swap, let me just search it here. I seen it trending on Twitter. And as you can see, Price is also trending upwards. It's up about 10% today, $8. And we zoom out here on the seven days. Pancake swap is moving nicely. It's all the way, it started about a week ago at 643. Now it's at about $8. That is a nice move for this altcoin. And part of the reason could be because of this announcement with Binance, which will be in the Binance app. And also, Pancake Swap is a major sponsor in Binance. Um, uh, blockchain week, I think it's called that's happening right now in Dubai. So there is a lot of talk about what's happening in the, uh, with pancake swap. And now if I look here at pancake swap on currency.com, the sentiment right now shows 94% buyers with 6% sellers price pushing towards those highs. We could see pancake swap make a nice run right now. It's probably best to wait for things to calm down a bit before looking for an entry. But Pancake Swap continues to build. Binance is officially adding them on board. So I expect good things to happen with this coin uh, since it is also one of the most solid DeFi tokens associated with Binance and a whole DeFi craze and even NFTs. So overall, Pancake Swap holds a good spot uh, for crypto. Now, let me pull up the chart for Pancake Swap here. Look at this daily chart on Pancake. So when it got listed here on currency.com, as you can see, price was still uh, moving sideways. And then it broke down and was in a nice long downtrend for months and months. And something good is happening right now. Look at that. If you can't see that, let me explain it to you right now real quick. So there's a crossover here on this moving average. Uh, what's that? The 50 and the 21 day. This is the first uh, time price has crossed above those moving averages. As you can see here, it's been trending below. It's tested both a few times, but this is the first time we've gotten above which marks this is a new bottom range and you should look for an entry and buyers should start coming in if price does retest the lows because if we get something down back towards six dollars again that is a pretty great risk reward for pancake swap if it does go on a run you can look for a 20 percent risk um, pushing up towards 200 percent for pancake swap to make it back to september levels but i like these analysis um, i like to mix up a few coins in one video uh, kind of gives you guys a better outlook. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching this weekly analysis. 
I'll catch you back again next time. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Good luck with your crypto trading and follow my Twitter as well for much more helpful content. See you again. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.